This is Becky Gromlich with Watercolor Classroom and Tuesday's Watercolor Tips. Today we're going to add a barn to this painting. I have had this around for a while. I had it very nicely framed and it just hasn't sold and I would like it to and so I'm going to rework it. Plus I just have felt like something's missing. I had a barn here and it was out of perspective. So I'm pushing it back a little bit. Hope, hopefully I can get it in better perspective this time. We're gonna use some bright, bright red to start with. I already have it drawn on there. And so I'm just gonna start painting. The bottom will be uneven because it's um, got snow piled up. And I'll probably have to fix some of the some of the tree. And then that was pyro red, and I'm going to get a little bit of alizarin crimson for this other side. The sun is coming from this direction. Right, and then I'm gonna put some of this alizarin under the eaves, especially on that side. And I'll need my paint to dry a little bit. And just some uh, bored looking. I want it to look too bored looking because it's pretty far away. And apparently it is still gonna be a rather large barn. I tried it, what was behind it showed through. And in retrospect, perhaps I should have washed some of that off, but I didn't. And so I'm just gonna go back over the main parts that have these patterns in that I don't want. I want there to be a darker side over here a little bit. And we'll go back to the pyro red. And I'm making it pretty pretty thick this time. It's, it's not as thick as pancake batter, but it's, uh, uh, getting getting kind of pasty looking so that it covers better. Just so that that has even more time to dry because it still looks like it might be tacky before I put the white uh, um, bars for the door. I'm going to work on this shadow. Now there's a little bit of one here but it needs to go up there and, and in front a little bit. See how the shadows of the other things are in front? This tree maybe needs some more. And so I want the shadow to start here and go across. And this tree is this one and goes to there and the barn is gonna be back a little bit more. So it'll go about this far. And I don't remember what colors I use, so I'm going to try, uh, first of all, I'll try my ultramarine blue because I use it a lot because I like it. But this looks like a little bit more of a greener blue and so I think I'll add some phthalo to it. And then it definitely needs some paint spray. That's getting close and I have a scrap paper that I'm going to try it on and that actually looks pretty good. If I really want to check uh, the color, I can isolate it like this, and that helps. And I, I think I'm going to use that color. That looks fine to me. Okay, so we're going to come in in front of the barn a little bit and have some shadow in the front. Just a little bit. And then all in here becomes shadow. And I'm going to become I think it'll go pretty straight across. And I'm gonna let my brush dry a little bit because I want the shadow to be a little bit rougher looking. So I'm, I'm having a drier brush that, you know, it's gonna hit the fence a little bit and get into this area, just mix in with that. And then it, it comes down pretty sharp. So some of this would 
have a denser shadow than it did because trees leave less shadow than. And again, I want to get this drier look. I'm going to make a square ending for that shadow. And come down here a little bit too. I'll have to put that fence back in if I decide I took too much of it out. Okay. Uh, since there's other trees and things, I'm going to just loosen up. I think that's probably plenty of shadow. It got very dark right by the barn, and so I'm just going to go over it with a tissue and take some of it out so that it's not the only shadow that's dark in it. And I'm just barely touching that edge. I'm not going over it an eighth of an inch even, just barely touching it. And then the paint spreads out into the brush and it softens the edge because it's further away, so it shouldn't have such sharp edges. And that, that goes for here too. That edge is very sharp. And that part's very dark. So now we're ready for the bleed proof white. And oh, that lid wasn't on right, it might be dry. This is bleed proof white. Looks like I still have one little wet spot in the middle. And that should work. You can resuscitate bleed proof white. I'll put some purified water into it after I'm done painting and uh, it'll sit overnight and then it'll be fine. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have a snowy roof. And it's gonna be sort of rounded because it's snow, so I'm not gonna have these straight edges anymore. And then I'll put some shading in it so that it looks soft and not that soft and fluffy. This angle came out sharper than this angle. And so this side of the roof is gonna get a little bit more snow to fix that. And I want to put a door here. Just the old fashioned kind of door that barns have with a big X. I need to get him more square too. And I'm gonna blot that one a little bit because he got floppy. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually blot both of those a little bit because they need to look a little further away than they do. They're a little too bright. And now we will put some blue onto the roof, some snow sags and such. And that's just sort of guesswork and where you think you might want it. There would need to be some on this side because it would be in the shadow. Now my brown, my barn looks very bright. And, and so I'm gonna darken this side a little bit because I, Red is a color that just draws your eye. And we don't want this barn to be the only main subject in here. And so I'm gonna darken things a little bit. It was the day that I painted this. It was a very crisp day. And so the barn did look very, very red against the white snow. And the trees looked very white. Something red somewhere else and I probably will will just um, put it into some of these plants down here so that it's not too loud. I know these already have some kind of bottles on them and I'm going to have it in an opposing corner. I'm going to make a few more over here. That's probably enough to get the feeling of something else red in the picture. And maybe some under here too, to take it across a little bit more. Okay, 
there we go. We have a painting that I've adjusted by adding shadows and finishing the roof. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you would like to get notifications and like it and comment and tell me what you'd do different. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.